Now it's been a cold winter and residents in Tunbridge and Morning could be receiving help from the council to keep their homes warm. The Warm Homes Assistance Scheme offers to fund a variety of home improvements. But what does it mean for those residents who don't sign up and still in, are still in need of care? To tell us more, I'm joined by the council's private sector housing manager, Linda Hibbs. So Linda, thanks ever so much for coming in. If you could tell me a little bit about what Warm Homes, the Warm Homes Scheme is. So the Warm Home Scheme is a, a scheme run by Thomas and Wallingborough Council to help people um, put heating in their homes where they haven't got any heating at the moment, to help them improve their heating if it's inefficient or to help um, repair it if it's broken. And how much of an issue is this particularly with elderly people in, your, in the constituency? Um, well, clearly, where elderly people are living in cold homes, it, it's not good for their health. Um, so it is an issue. You know, we are aware there are people out there uh, that need this help to, um, you know, make them healthier, help them be able to afford their bills, um, and, and live up, you know, a better life. And how much does it cost for the council? Um, on average, a typical installation, if we were doing heating from scratch, would be about three and a half thousand pound. And in terms of who's el eligible for this, how, how do people go about potentially applying for it? So um, it's available to homeowners and people with a, a repairing obligation if they're a private tenant. Um, they need to be in receipt of a means-tested benefit um, or um, have a long-term health condition um, from, with somebody in the family that would make them eligible. Um, but also I want to say that there is a lot of help there out right at the moment for everybody really. So we would urge people to get in touch and speak to us and see if we can help in any way. And how many homes have you, done, have you sort of installed these things in so far since you started, would you say? Uh, we, we estimate at the moment we're doing about 15 to 20 a year through the Warm Home Scheme. We're helping a lot more people, um, perhaps not directly through that scheme, but through other schemes that we can also link into. And what happens if people aren't maybe quite eligible for this? What what do what can they do then to kind of try and tackle being cold in the winter? We we have um, access to quite a lot of schemes, um, and we offer other assistance as well as warm homes assistance, where we can help people um, who you know may not be quite eligible for this scheme, but there is some reason perhaps their GP refers them or a health visitor refer, uh, refers them. We might be able to help them. Um, we would give the usual tips that people should, you know, be, be wrapping up warm, um, checking the heating, um, and we would also urge friends and family to keep an eye out on people and contact us if they've, you know, they're worried about somebody. And that's also probably neighbours as well who might sort of keep an eye on their neighbours who might be elderly or on their own yeah. living alone. Yeah, any concerns about any housing conditions, we would welcome them to contact us to see if we can help. Fantastic. Thanks ever so much for coming in, Linda. Okay.